Sassá, o que é isso aqui agora? Um, isso aqui é onde vai ser a reunião dos pilotos, tudo, né? Todos uhum. os pilotos, todas as categorias, entendeu? Os profissionais, mesmo, os fudidão, os top. Agora já tá chegando ali alguns. Tudo aqui, todo mundo aqui. Todos os pilotos de Moto América vêm vir pra cá agora. Pra participar da reunião. Então, vai ter a reunião, o brief de reunião ali, né? Que vai ser feito. Todo mundo tá aqui. É, vou deixar a câmera ligada rodando. E vocês vão seguindo. Né? Uh, There is a mobile dyno available in the back of the paddock. Um, I'm not sure about the vendor. I don't have any details on him or his pricing. However, you can check with with um, that person. This is back to our world of practice groups for the 600s. As always, um, it is super sport in group one, which is the second group up each time. Um, as well as the top 15 in points in Super Stop 600. Since we don't have any points at this point, it was based off of last year's points. So those groups are published both on the website and also in tech. Please familiarize yourself with those before you go out um, so we don't have people out in the wrong groups. Um, hot pit assignments are available in tech. I also have some of them up here that we can give you when we give you your tire stickers. After this meeting, um, You will need to get your tire stickers and all new riders, so that means riders that were not at COTA, need to stay here for a briefing. Um, please, um, our podium officials have asked that it's three riders, but it's three crew per rider in the podium, part for May, part of it. Um, tomorrow morning at eight, we would like all riders that did not have their pictures taken so far with Brian J, their headshots, to meet here in the media center at eight with your leathers and your helmets. Um, these pictures are used on TV and it makes our grid look not so good if we have a bunch of silhouettes. I'm sure your sponsors would all enjoy getting their minute of TV time. Um, the KTM riders will be meeting right after the new riders meeting at the HMC, the KTM trailer. And your pictures will actually be Friday afternoon. Um, I will have Dr. Rossi um, follow up. However, we are going to have some bonds testing. That is a, a um, vestibular ocular motor testing. It is for concussion. We are asking to get our season riders tested this weekend. Um, and I have a sign up sheet up here for Saturday and for Friday. Um, please. What we will do first is season Superbike, Superstock 1000, and Supersport because they're interested in the competitors that were at COTA. Um, we'll have you guys sign up first, and then in subsequent rounds or a little bit later with this round, we'll take care of the season Superstock 600 and the season K. Agora só está registrando ali o nome dele. Welcome everybody, my name is Rachel Johnson and I'm the Chief Grid Steward for Moto America. This is not comprehensive, this is what I call my cheat sheet. These are what I think to be like the most important aspects of the rule book because they pertain to what I do and what I do is the most fun part of what you do. And that is all the on-track activity, race starts, and our procedures. So I'm going to just go over this stuff briefly, but I encourage you all to come to read the entire rule book. Um, some of this I'm just going to skim over, um, but I just think it's some, some of this is easier to read in the format that I put it in versus what the rule book has it printed as. So when you set up on the hot pit, we ask that you always tape your cords across the fire lane. 
um, and you'll have assigned pit stalls. You can find those assignments in tech where you can find all relevant information pertaining to you, um, all of your times and everything. That is your point of uh, information is the tech uh, tent. Um, we ask that you keep the fire lane clear and that you uh, secure all canopies um, everywhere, pit lane and pad canopies. We have a speed limit, it's 60K, which is approximately 37 miles per hour. Um, they monitor it using the timing. Um, if you're a KTM rider and you don't have uh, like a rev limiter, one thing you can do is go to the dyno and they can tell you what your RPMs are at about 37 so you don't get caught speeding. Um, let's see, the fueling procedure must be adhered to at all time. Uh, the rider must be off the bike, the bike must be on a stand, all electronics must be unplugged and there must be somebody standing with a fire extinguisher with the pin pulled at the ready and these procedures need to be followed at all times please. For our start procedure, this is a really tough track because there's not a break in the wall. Uh, but we have big huge problems with the teams just willy-nilly all over the pit lane and the bikes are not able to get out. So what we ask is that you walk along the pit stall, not on the pit lane proper, until you get to where you can cross directly to wherever you plan to go over the wall. This, this one we're hoping to have three ladders. We ask that you be very careful. We actually had somebody break a leg trying to get over this wall to the grid before. Um, and and keep, be mindful of the riders that are trying to get out. If you hear us whistling, look around because we're telling you that there's traffic coming. And we want to make sure that all the riders get out. You want your rider to get out and every other team wants their rider to get out. So please be mindful when you're crossing the pit lane in order to get to the grid for the start of the race. Um, everybody here has a 15 minute start procedure except for the LCQ which I'll get to later. Um, so what's going to happen is we're going to open up for sighting laps. It's a sighting laps, not a lap. You can take multiple revolutions. If you choose to do that, you'll come through the pit lane to take another lap. Uh, at that time, as soon as we release you, your crews are welcome to get out on the grid with your equipment. Um, when you come back through, well, we'll have five, four, three, two, one board and horn countdown at the pit exit. Um, at, so you have the five minutes to get out. If you get trapped, then you're going to have to start the warm-up lap from the pit lane, and you'll start the race from the back of the grid. Okay? So once you get back from the sighting lamp, we ask that you take off your helmets. That's when we're going to do the TV give yet time. As you pull up, well, let me back up. Cruise, single file behind your grid spot with your people and your equipment or off to the side until we get everybody back. We want to keep lanes so the riders can get through. Okay, so I, I'll come through. I'm not yelling at you, I'm yelling to you. So nice and clean so that we can get the riders through. Um, and then once you get everything out of your box, uh, your, your tote, the totes go off to the side. They do not stay on the grid, please. So the riders get back. This is when we do TV, interviews, media. Uh, so we ask, unless it's raining, or unless it's a restart, that the riders take their helmets off. Um, then we're going to go into the countdown to the warm-up lap. There's a, there's a clock at the front which tells you where we're at. When we get to the five-minute board and horn, it's going to blow. Nothing happens. It's just telling you that we're getting ready to get going. Three-minute board and horn. Two crew, one umbrella. Generators to the cold side. Tire warmers off. We have personnel at the side of the grid we call the row marshals. They're the ones who are going to be holding the lollipops up high so you can find your way to your rows. They also have what's called a grid report. If at the three minute you don't pull your tire warmers and you don't remove your generators or if you're still wrenching on your bike which you're no longer able to tinker after the three minute horn, horn, horn they're going to write it down. That goes up to race direction and race direction will sanction you for that. Okay? So three minutes, uh, generators to the